Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn about normal and CADRADS-1 on coronary CT angiography. CADRADS stands for Coronary Artery Disease Reporting and Data System. It's a standardized reporting system for coronary CT angiography that grades the severity of coronary artery disease and gives management suggestions. We will be looking at normal cases and mild atherosclerosis in the coronary arteries on CT angiography. CADRAD0 is given for normal arteries. In CADRAD0, there is no stenosis or presence of plaque in any coronary artery. No further evaluation is required. This is the left anterior descending artery. Its lumen is enhancing normally and there is no narrowing of the artery. Neither hyperdense calcified plaque nor low-density thrombus is present. In the image on the right, we can see a small hyperdense calcified plaque in the left anterior descending artery in its proximal segment. This small plaque is causing a stenosis of less than 25%. When the stenosis is between 1 and 24%, it is graded as CADRADS-1, indicating early atherosclerosis. There was an update in the CADRADS system which includes plaque burden separately from the CADRADS score. It describes the overall amount of atherosclerosis seen on coronary CTA which means in how many segments the plaque is present. In P1, the plaques can be present in one or two segments. For the left anterior descending artery, there are three segments, proximal, middle, and distal. The plaque burden takes in account the presence of plaques in all the coronary arteries. For example, if one plaque is present in the proximal segment of the left anterior descending artery and another plaque is present in the distal segment of the left circumflex artery, it will be classified as P1. In this image, only one plaque is present in the proximal LAD and the stenosis is between 1 and 24% and other arteries were clear so it is graded as CADRADS1, P1. P2 is moderate plaque burden. P2 is given when plaques are present in three or four segments. P3 is severe plaque burden. It is given when there are plaques in five to six segments. P3 is considered a high risk for coronary events even if CADRADS score is 1. P4 indicates extensive plaque burden. P4 includes the involvement of seven or more segments. It refers to very high atherosclerotic burden and a higher cardiac event risk. Right now, we'll be focusing on CADRADS-1 cases. This is another case of CADRADS-1 showing early atherosclerosis. We can see a small hyperdense calcified plaque in the left anterior descending artery. The narrowing seems to be around one-fourth of the lumen. It is less than 25% and other arteries were normal. So it is graded as CADRADS1 P1. Plaque burden is P1 because only one segment has plaque. Here is another case of CADRADS1 P1. Two small high-density calcified plaques are seen in the left anterior descending artery. The stenosis seems to be between 1 and 24% of the lumen. Plaque burden is mild. In this case, a small calcified plaque is seen in the middle segment of the left anterior descending artery. One-fourth of the lumen is narrowed, so it is classified as CADRADS-1. Plaque burden is P1. Now we have a case showing a plaque burden of P3. P3 is when plaque involves five to six segments of the coronary arteries. 
We see plaques in proximal and middle segments of the left anterior descending artery, that is two segments. The stenosis is mild and seems to be less than 25% of the lumen. This is the same case. Plaque is also present in the first diagonal branch. This artery is fully considered as one segment. It is not divided into proximal, middle, or distal segments. So including this artery, we have three segments where plaque is present. The stenosis is also less than 25%. This narrowing appears to be greater than 25% but this is actually due to a blooming artifact which makes the plaque appear bigger than it actually is. This artifact can occur with high-density calcified structures. After correction, it was a stenosis between 1 and 24%. On the left is a normal first diagonal branch for comparison. In the same case, the left circumflex artery also had a small plaque in its proximal segment. The left circumflex artery is divided into two segments, proximal and distal segments. So now, in total, we have two segments from left anterior descending artery, one segment, which is the first diagonal branch, and one segment from the left circumflex artery equaling four segments with plaque involvement so far. The right coronary artery also had plaque involvement. It is divided into proximal, middle, and distal segments. The plaque is present in the proximal segment. So now we have five segments in total with plaque involvement. So plaque burden is P3. The maximum stenosis is still between 1 and 24% in all the arteries. So it is classified as CADRADS 1 P3. It is considered high risk extent. Let's look at another case of CADRADS 1 P3. Calcified plaque is present in the proximal left anterior descending artery. The stenosis is between 1 and 24%. Plaques are also present in proximal and distal left circumflex arteries. The stenosis here is also between 1 and 24%. The right coronary artery had plaques in the proximal and distal segments. So in total, we have 5 segments with plaque involvement and maximum stenosis is between 1 and 24%. So it will be graded as CADRADS 1 P3. It is still considered a high risk for cardiac events due to its high plaque burden. Aggressive preventive therapy is recommended in such cases. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more imaging videos.